What's going on, YouTube? So tonight we're going to take a look at this Emerson 230 volt AC motor that I have here on the bench. And taking a look at it, you can see that it is a dual shaft motor. It's probably for a bench grinder or something. I've had it for a while. Not sure what it came off of, but. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I have it wired up. Now, taking a look at, at this uh, ID tag here on the motor itself, you can see right here where the volts are, it says 230. And the RPM is 1140. And it's a little bit slower than some of the other motors I got. Most of my motors are 1725 RPM. And like I said, this one's 1140. So... I have it wired for 110 and I'm going to show you how I have this wired up like I said earlier. So we come over to the terminal box here and you can see right there that is, I don't know if you can see it, but that's terminal 1 and down here is terminal two. So what I did is I just took the black wire, ran it to terminal one, and took my white wire, neutral, and ran that to terminal two. Now, if you were going to wire this for 230, then you would take your hot wire, put it here, take your other hot wire, Put it to this terminal here with the black cover on it and then run your neutral here and then i have my ground wire hooked up and uh yeah that's about it i don't really run this motor very often um now another little thing that i learned too with these wire nuts here is from here on out it's a good idea to secure these with some electrical tape because on one of my other motors I had one come loose and uh, it's not a bad idea to secure those with some electrical tape. I might do it in the future on this motor but I don't really run this one a whole lot so I don't find it very necessary to do so but I'm just running a regular three prong cord you know kind of skin the cord back a little bit and wire not all the wires together we'll plug it in let you guys hear it run for a minute get this cord undone here so go ahead So it turns at a pretty slow speed. I don't know if you could actually use this for a bench grinder because it turns pretty slow, but bearings are a little loud on it. All right, we're gonna cut that off now. That's uh, pretty much it for the Emerson motor. And um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And uh, let me know why you didn't like the video. And maybe I can use that to improve future videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so and hit the notification bell in the corner. All right, talk to you guys later.